And I share the public outrage that this extremist court has committed to moving America backwards with fewer rights, less autonomy, and politicians invading the most personal decisions that not only women, but we'll find if they expand on this decision, uh, men as well. If extremist governors try to block a woman from traveling from her state that prohibits her from seeking medical help she needs to a state that provides that care, the federal government will act to protect her bedrock rights through the attorney general's office. If states try to block a woman from getting medication the FDA has already approved and has been available for more than 20 years, my administration will act and protect that woman's right to that medication. Congress is going to have to act to codify the row into federal law. But as, as I said yesterday, the filibuster should not stand in the way of us being able to do that. But right now, we don't have the votes in the Senate to change the filibuster. We either elect federal senators and representatives who will codify Roe, or Republicans who will elect the House and Senate who will try to ban abortions nationwide. Nationwide. This is going to go one way or the other after November. This is not over.